What's up guys, it's Mama K, your Call of Duty queen. Today's video is all about how to get dark ether as fast as possible. Here are my quick tips to make sure you're optimizing your grind because we already know it's long and painful. So hopefully you can have dark ether in no time at all. All right, let's get into it. My biggest tip is to make sure you're maximizing your camos as much as possible. Be sure to be aware of what you're working on. That way you're not duplicating any efforts and it runs pretty seamlessly. As an example, one of the challenges is to get 2000 kills with seven attachments. You want to make sure your gun has seven attachments because if not, it's not going to count towards any of those progresses. Same thing with covenants. You need 2000 of those. So while you're grinding for your 4000 pack-a-punch camos, you can get those done as well. Here you can see is my Einhorn loadout. I actually use this loadout for high rounds. It made it to round 185. So if you want to use that, there you go. When I'm grinding camos, my objective is to get to pack a punch as quick as possible in as low of round as possible. So when I'm looking for my first few portals, I always try to pick blitz, especially that first round. It only lasts a minute long and transmit. That's about a minute and a half. So make sure you're going to those portals and avoiding harvest because you want to get that one later. This is all going to depend on your RNG, but I always try to look for blitz and transmit to get me started and get my gun packed. After I complete each portal, I'm heading to the Altar of Covenants to check what's available. This is absolutely a game of RNG. As you're looking here, I have Bloodlust and Dead Accurate. Bloodlust is great when working on those 10 rapid kills as you can just melee zombies instead of shooting them. But be careful as with this rare, only lasts until round 4 and then it's no longer one hit. Dead Accurate is also a great choice. So when I'm grinding, I would pick up one or the other. So I'm making progress towards those 2,000 kills. Again, after completing my portal, I'm heading over and checking the covenants as you can see here brain rot is one of the options i try to stay away from this one it just seems to not work very quickly as it's only turning a few zombies every turn the next one is brimstone this is great for high rounds and great for taking damage it's super fun when you have insta kill but I found it's not that effective for camo grinds. I shoot my zombies from farther away. So in order for it to be completely effective, they have to be super close. So I've tended to skip that one altogether. One that I absolutely love is Deadshot. Now I'm on mouse and keyboard on PC, so I don't really care about the critical aim that it's helping out with, but I found this to be the most effective when you're grinding for camos for the 2000 Covenant kills. So I will always get Deadshot now that it's been added. All right, we checked the covenants one last time and I was so shocked to see unholy ground. This is going to give you more damage as you're stationary. I'm the type of zombies player, especially in Vanguard, where I'm just chilling, right, as most of you guys are. So this is great. I could have upgraded the dead shot, but I thought this was my perfect covenant lineup. So I know I'm all set when working towards those camos. All right, after three rounds, we now have enough to pack a bunch. This is going to be huge as you want to work towards making a dent in those 4,000 pack a punch kills. This is going to be the longest and most tedious part of your grind. I don't have any other choice to go in any other portal but transmit. So here we go. As I get back, it's now round five and I know those boom shriers are going to be spawning in. Big boys will then later come at 6, but I highly recommend going around the map and killing everyone that you see. Typically when you head up to the zombies and you kill one, a boomshire will come in. Kill those as you need 100 in total for your camo progress. In the beginning part of my grind, I wasn't really doing this, and so when I got down to my final camos, I would need several, several boomshires. So do these as you go and it'll make it a lot easier in the end. While I was looking for boom shires, I happened to see a box. I always open those. One of my tips is picking those guns up, especially if you don't have them completed. For example, if my primary gun has already killed, let's say, boom shires, I can then swap to my secondary and work on it. That way I'm not wasting it. I found this to be super helpful. This gun that I also picked up was packed, so it saved me some money and it's going to help with those pack-a-punch kills for that gun as well. All right, and now we're on to harvest. This is my favorite objective for grinding dark ether camos. My favorite spot is located in the theater and my second favorite is in the apartments. What I did was I pushed it to tier three or phase three and zombies are just going to rapidly spawn in. This is a great way to get those rapid kills as you can get the 10 in a row if you have the bloodlust or if you have a good gun and you can just spray down the zombies 
or just to grind regular camos, no hits, really whatever you need. Did this get boring? Absolutely. So truth be told, what I did was I muted my game and turned on Netflix and just went to town grinding those camos. Another helpful thing while I'm grinding and just sitting in this harvest objective is to write down what you have. I would make a little note on my phone to keep in mind what camos I had left, whether that was 20 no hits for Storm Kriegers or Boom Shriers, whatever the case may be, I made a note. That way I knew going in exactly which goals I wanted to hit. This can get pretty boring, but it does pay off and you can just keep going until you're tired. All right, so after you're done grinding the harvest kills and you need a little bit of a break, you can head back to Stalingrad. This will give you a little bit of a break. You can step away since there is no pause button yet. Hopefully that's coming soon. But then I would look for a transmit objective. You can push the objective mostly to the end. Just be sure not to finish it. And there you can farm kills as zombies are also going to rapidly spawn in. Something I also recommend in my grind was decoy grenades. You could throw these and give yourself a few seconds break if you need. All right, guys, those are all my tips and tricks for my Dark Ether grind. I hope you're able to get it as quick as possible because it was painful. I'm so happy I'm finally done. If you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.